Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA Web TV, and we are here at the start of Fee Week at ESA's Ezrin establishment in Frascati, Italy. And I'm joined by the director of ESA's Earth Observation Programs, Joseph Ashbacher. Now, Joseph, this is the second ever Fee Week, and we are looking into open science and innovation in Earth observation. Now, last year was the first Fee Week. What has happened over the past year? Um, in fact, a, a lot has happened over the past year. Uh, we had last year the first fee week ever, uh, which was quite a disruption in terms of the event itself and what we discussed. Uh, last year we really brought Earth observation and uh, artificial intelligence together uh, and we re were really focusing on this topic of AI and EO over the last year, uh, since the last fee week. This uh, year, uh, the fee week, we will have again AI as a major topic, not as the only one, but as a major topic of new space and how new space disrupts our more traditional space and how the two things can work together in order to really provide the best information at the end for the citizen, because the citizen is interested in information about agriculture, forestry, fisheries, climate, and many other parameters. So what have we done? Uh, we have really uh, worked a lot inside ESA. Uh, we have reorganized ourselves within ESA. A new department was established called the Fee Department, Future Systems. Uh, we also established the Fee Lab. Uh, it existed before, but it really came to life uh, during uh, uh, last year. Uh, we have hired uh, quite a few research uh, fellows uh, to work on various topics on EI. Uh, we have uh, established the fee experience, which is a hands-on interactive uh, uh, mechanism to show how Earth observation can be used for daily life. And uh, we have really uh, worked on uh, various projects. Uh, we have done uh, projects on um, uh, mapping uh, uh, palm trees uh, worldwide uh, with AI. Uh, we have worked on uh, other projects uh, uh, on data analytics, uh, so really how AI can be used uh, for the interpretation and the use of satellite data. But also, we have programmed a small chip uh, which we have put into space, we will put into space on our FeedSat. And this is the other big development since last year, uh, where we had a challenge of uh, developing a, a FeedSat, uh, which is a small satellite with an AI chip on board. And this was the project of uh, uh, since last year until now to really develop this uh, spacecraft with uh, partners in Europe and make it ready to fly. So what are you looking forward to for Fee? Not only for Fee Week, but also for the Fee Department over the next months or year? Uh, the fee department and fee in general is really our symbol for disruptive innovation in Earth observation. Uh, and I'm looking forward again uh, with the community here uh, assembled in uh, Frascati to come up with uh, fantastic ideas, ideas that are really disrupting our way of thinking and working. And I really cannot wait to hear what they have in mind and what they will tell us of what ideas they have. There's a lot to do, uh, especially AI's uh, discipline, which is uh, racing on its own with Earth observation extremely fast uh, developing in a very dynamic sector. And the two of them are merging now and reinforcing each other and I'm really expecting uh, great things. And you have some partnerships coming up as well. Uh, we have great partnerships uh, coming up. Uh, I've just announced uh, the new uh, special interest group on AI uh, for Earth observation, uh, which really is uh, a, a coordination of the community, of the, Earth of the Earth observation community, together with the AI community, and work jointly together on these uh, two disciplines, which are actually uh, by its own quite exciting, but putting them together is even more exciting. And what we will do is, with visiting professors, uh, with the researchers, with scientists, with the ESA staff uh, who are engineers, engineers and uh, scientists work together and see how we can exploit and really combine AI for EO. Now going back to AI, and you mentioned FeeSat that you'd announced last year. What is the status of this endeavor? Uh, this is uh, quite an exciting project. Uh, the satellite is ready to be launched. It uh, will be launched as soon as the, the rocket is uh, available. There has uh, been a small uh, delay because uh, the last uh, Vega launch uh, was not successful. So we are investigating and we are waiting for the launcher to be uh, ready again for the launch. But the satellite is ready. And I can tell you, our engineers and our community within ESA and with our partners across Europe we have been working extremely hard for this deadline to get everything ready. The hardware, uh, the sensors, it has a, a number of sensors on board, but also the AI chip. And to train the AI, AI chip uh, to, use it, to be used in space is quite a unique thing. It's actually the first time that an AI chip will be used in space on a small satellite. So I can't wait to see it flying and really see the first results coming back. So it sounds like it's ready, but uh, how about the future of VSAT? What's the next step? Uh, what's the next step? In fact, uh, uh, just a few minutes ago, I made uh, another announcement of the fee week. And this announcement is to launch another challenge of another FISAT, uh, FISAT 2, you may call it, uh, which again is uh, 
uh, going a bit further in our development and exploring new frontiers, again using artificial intelligence in space, but in an interconnected way, in a programmable way, that you can actually interact with the satellite more interactively, more directly, and therefore have a more tailored approach. So uh, the challenge will be open, the best idea will be winning, and uh, we will launch another FISAT in, a, in some time uh, as a result of this challenge. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're offering from our side uh, money. Uh, we offer 1 million euros as a prize or as a, an award to the winning team to build the satellite, but also the ESA expertise. Uh, together with us, we, uh, we are putting uh, expertise and money together and uh, launch another challenge, another exciting project. Well, that's a great opportunity to look forward to, and uh, we look forward to Fee Week and to the other things coming out of Fee. Joseph Ashbacher, thank you so much for joining us today. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about Fee, about FeeSat, about Fee Week, and all things Fee, visit our website at www.esa.int.